Hey YouTube, so I'm back. It's episode 397. Yeah, I know the page doesn't say that, but this this Dillard Unmightier hacked into my account, got me kicked out by all this junk he put on there. And anyways, I'm back, okay? So look for me, watch for me, and to the guy who hacked my account, I hate you. Hey guys, just another quick one because I'm on my way out the door to the comic convention. I don't want to show you my costume, but you got to tune in next week because I got something really big in store for you. So please tune in next week. So, all right, I'm going to, I want to show you my costume. You ready? Tell me what you think. Yeah, works. Make sure that you write in on the comments, okay? Yeah! favorite movie nut conspiracy theorist Dave here and I got another episode for you so let's jump right into it. What does the Dark Knight and the Crow have in common? Dun dun dun! Death! I was gonna do a whole episode about people who died during the filming of their movies but when I started digging a little deeper you wouldn't believe what I found. Brandon Lee and Heath Ledger both had an untimely demise after the productions of their movies but I want you to look at these two clips. Just watch them. You notice anything? I didn't at first either. Let me freeze the frame for you. Still don't see it? It's the same guy! So I know what you're thinking, right? Actor takes many roles in many films, but come on. There's like, what, 14 years between the making of these two films? That's some incredible makeup job, really? That's when I started thinking... That was weird. Anyways, I'm gonna look into this further, all right? So I'm back, and here's that creepy guy again, Fast and Furious 6, right? You all know that Paul Walker died after the seventh one in a car crash, right? And here he is in Wagons East. You can see him sitting in the saloon by himself. John Candy went to sleep, didn't wake up after that one. But this conspiracy goes way back, 1962. Marilyn Monroe's last movie. You can see him. He's right there. 1959. Bela Lugosi was filming Plan 9 from Outer Space, and he died of a heart attack. But when they went into the cemetery and they found those two bodies, there's the guy. I mean, 1983. Vic Morrow, the Twilight Zone movie. He's killed. Two little kids are killed. It's a helicopter accident. It's terrible. You look behind Vic in the film. There he is. 1982, poltergeist. Here he is with all the other construction workers. And if you notice, over those 50 years, he doesn't seem to age at all. Or change his clothes. If you... ah! Dude, I'm out of here. There's been some strange things going on around here. But back to this guy in movies. It doesn't just stop at movies. It goes into television, too. He's everywhere. You look at that show Glee. Cory Montauk dies of a drug overdose. He's there. Jerry Orbach from Law and Order. He dies. Look in the jury box. He's there. News radio with Phil Hartman. Guy was tragically shot by his wife. But look at this scene. We see the guy again. You go back to 1958 with George Reeves as Superman. Supposedly he shot himself. But I see that guy. He's working at the Daily Planet. And there's more. Have you seen this? Look, right there, I, that's him. And what about this one? I think he's in this one twice. I don't know. There he is again. Here he is again. As long as I look, as far back as I go, I can't find this guy anywhere. It's like he doesn't exist. Until now. Hold on, I'm, I'm gonna go get something, hold, hold on. All right. I was at an estate sale in Beverly Hills I was going through the old reels, you know, celluloid. And this one called out to me. This is a never before seen Charlie Chaplin movie called Modern Times. Yeah, you saw it released, but not this one. I had it digitized, and guess who's on it? Oh, weird side note, the building burned down after they gave it to me. Anyways, here we see Charlie just get out of jail when his girlfriend says, come on over and check out the new house. But when he gets there, who's waiting for him? 
there's our guy. Now watch this. Wham! He gets taken out. And then I look in the credits and it says, in memory of John Doherty, he died for his art. And I thought, wow, that's so weird. Why does this guy keep showing up in all these films? I mean, Hollywood's trying to... What the... Whoa! Well, 